Hi there, this is Mystical Mimi, Voodoo Conjure Queen, coming back with another exciting spell. Stay tuned. Hey there guys, this is Mystical Mimi coming back to you with another hoodoo ritual. Today I will present a hoodoo money sweetening prosperity jar spell. My daughter is looking for a new job that pays more money and I thought what an excellent opportunity to share an actual ritual with my YouTube family. So stay tuned for my version of a hoodoo sweetening prosperity jar. Okay you guys, so anyone that knows me know that before I start any type of ritual work, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and I like to smudge and purify my space. And my smudger of choice is Sage. I also like Palo Alto, pa oh, Palo Alto, I don't know where I got that from, <laughs> um, Palo Santo or Kapal. But whatever you like, if you like basil, if you like angelica, if you like dragon's blood resin, frankincense and myrrh, whatever you prefer, um, you use that. But just go ahead, purify, smudge your space, smudge yourself, also smudge your supplies that you'll be working with. In addition to smudging my space, what I like to do as well is I like to use an incense that's going to be synonymous with the type of work that I'm doing. And since I'm doing prosperity money magic, I decided to use Call Money. Call Money is by Him, H-E-M. You can actually find it on Amazon, different botanicas, um, any place, um, any type of conjure site online. Most of those online shops are going to have it as well. Um, so whatever you want to use, you don't have to use call money. You can use wealthy way. You can use silver and gold, whatever you want to use, but try to always use um, an incense that's synonymous with your work because what incense does, it elevates your petition. You guys, it sends your petition out in the atmosphere and raises the vibration even higher. So what you're going to see me do here next is a sigil. Um, I'm somewhat new to sigils. I don't think that they were um, they're act, they're actually authentic to who do work, but I've been reading and seeing a lot about sigils. Um, if you want a more um, detailed um, description or explanation of what a sigil is, there's a ton of YouTube videos out here. I'm just going to give you a broad overview. So basically a sigil is a symbol that you make from all the consonants that are in your written partition. You're not going to use the vowels. You're only going to use the consonants and you're only going to use them one time. So if they repeat in your petition, you're still just going to use them one time. So in the example that I'm showing you, I wrote financial abundance come to me. All right, and I am going to use each consonant one time. So therefore, I'm going to use the F. I'm going to use the N, C, L, D, M, and T. I'm not going to use any vowels, and I'm going to use each letter once. And so what you do is you basically you want to use these letters you want to build a symbol that is going to represent your petition okay so I like to use brown paper bag that I rip um, into a size a sheet that is appropriate for my petition and I rip all four corners because I want raw edges if you have parchment paper and dragon's blood ink by all means that is perfectly fine for your petitions Okay, so I am going to also use a pen or marker. The color is going to be synonymous with the work that I'm doing. So since it's prosperity money magic, I'm using a green pen and you're going to see I'm going to take all the consonants and I am going to start building my symbol. And this is your symbol as long as your letters, I'm showing you the F, N, and D here, as long as your letters connect you can make your symbol any way that you see fit okay you can turn the paper upside down you can flip it the letters must touch okay but this is your personal symbol and it represents it's a symbol that represents what your written petition is okay so go ahead and um, finish your, your sigil and once you do that what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to 
circle your sigil you want to enclose it to seal it off to seal that energy off okay and once you do that you want to go ahead and flip your paper over and on the other side of your paper you actually want to write out what your petition is okay so my petition again it says financial abundance comes to me and that's what I'm going to write on the other side of the paper okay using my green marker again you would like to you don't have to but I try to keep my mind and my energy focused and in tune with whatever type of work that I'm doing okay so all while you're doing your work that's the other thing I want to mention is that you should 100% um, be focused on your work what your ritual is so try to do this at a time where you're not going to be interrupted by family or phones or computers whatever you want to do this when you can 100% focus your intention on what your desire is trust me guys you'll have a better outcome okay so once I write my petition out what I like to do is I like to um, also enclose my petition um, with three crosses in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am of Christian faith, so those are that's the deity um, I subscribe to. That's the religion that I subscribe to. Whatever religion that you subscribe to, whatever deity that you subscribe to, you can call upon. Um, that deity your respective deity also um, if you don't subscribe to a religion what you can do is you can go ahead and you can just recite mantras so here you're seeing me use the Bible sweetening oil this is from barefoot witchery awesome shop amazing oils amazing products fun to go out on her shop I highly recommend it so you see me here anointing my paper in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit again um, whatever deities you subscribe to um, please go ahead and call upon those deities okay so once I do that I'm going to anoint my petition paper in all four corners in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit and I'm also going to anoint it in the middle five times I'm anointing this petition petition paper because five represents grounding okay so I want to ground my work into the physical realm not only are we working in the spiritual realm but we want this to manifest our desires to manifest on the physical realm as well okay so once I do that I'm going to take a nutmeg a whole nutmeg you can get it at any grocery store nutmeg very powerful attractor of, of prosperity of abundance of money so you want to completely wrap your petition paper around your nutmeg things that you're going to draw to you you want to fold your paper towards you and you want to turn your paper clockwise if I was trying to push something away from me I would fold my paper away from me and I would turn my paper counterclockwise but we're trying to draw money so we're going to fold the petition towards us and we're going to turn it clockwise as we wrap our nutmeg okay so once you got your nutmeg all wrapped tightly what you want to do now I'm gonna grab a green um, piece of yarn you can use green fabric gold fabric fabric gold yarn gold thread um, green fabric um, just green and gold are pretty much my colors if you don't have that then certainly white will work as well but again I try to stay in the mindset um, of the work that I'm doing and again as with the petition paper I am going to wrap um, my strings pulling my strings towards me because I want to draw financial abundance towards me okay um, in this case I'm actually really doing this for my daughter so I'll draw financial abundance towards her and just keep reciting what you want with all the energy that you can muster while you are wrapping um, your work okay so just continue to recite your mantras you can use a favorite Psalms here um, I like the Psalms I believe it's 112 it says wealth and riches shall be in um, my house always I like that Psalms a lot so um, I use that Psalms I also like the 23rd Psalms um, 
as well whenever I'm doing prosperity work. So continue to just wrap, 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 wrap your work um, until it's completely covered on all sides. You don't want to see the paper anymore. Okay. So um, once you have your work thoroughly wrapped and you know that you can't see the paper underneath anymore, what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and you are going to um, just, you know, just pop the string, break the string, cut it, um, and end the wrapping process here. So again, you're seeing me, I'm wrapping. I didn't think I was wrapping this long, but I guess this, this is kind of a big petition. There it is. Okay. So you see me, I'm just popping the string loose. I'm going to just go ahead and seal it off a little bit. And then I'm going to take this string and this, um, now it's a talisman now that I've created this. I'm going to take this talisman and I am going to sharpen in my jar. And so I'm using a baby food jar. I have little ones around me. So these are readily available and they're cheap. Okay. Um, you can use a mason jar. You can use um, any jar that you want that has a lid that you can tightly seal. And you see that I'm dropping it in here and also it needs to be big enough to hold all your items okay so next um what you see me doing is you see i have a low stone here i am going to include that in this work because low stones are very powerful attractors of money okay especially um tangible money all right so i'm going to also just pass it through the instance the call money instance to get it imbued with even more um, power even more prosperity power here so next what you're going to see me do I'm actually going to feed my lodestone all right I have silver and I have gold magnetic sand so I am going to feed my lodestone you don't have to have both um, I just have them both on hand so I'm just going to go ahead and feed my lodestone with both the silver and the gold and again you can get these get um the silver sand, the magnetic sand um, at any Botanica. Um, you can also order it online, Etsy, Amazon, or my go-to places, but certainly there's tons of other hoodoo shops online that you can order your supplies from as well. And so you just want to thoroughly coat your lodestone. You want to feed it very well, okay? And I, once again, I'm gonna use the silver and the gold, all right? Um, so next you see me feeding the gold sand and if anyone ever asks if i'm partial to one or the other i would probably say the gold is um i'm more partial to that but you know what i have friends that they actually prefer silver over gold so those people probably would just feed their lodestone silver sand so once i got it completely covered as well fed i'm going to go ahead and drop it in a jar as well and pour the, um, the residue, the rest that's left over, and then just shake my jar around a little bit. Guys, I typically remove the um, labels. I had goo be gone. I typically use goo be gone to re goo be gone to you to remove the labels. I didn't have any, so um, I'm just using the jar as is. You see me um, now praying over my jar, speaking what I want my jar to do. Next, I'm going to take um, some fish hooks. I got these from Walmart. They're only $3. You don't have to buy new fish hooks if you're a fisherman or you know someone that fish and you can just get two fish hooks from them. By all means, do that. What you want to do is take a pair of pliers. Be very careful because fish hooks are very sharp and you want to hook them together as such. Then you want to drop those in there because what you want to do, you want your money that you're calling into you, you want to anchor it to you. So often we're successful with our prosperity work. The money comes in, but it doesn't stay with us. It goes right back out the door. And a lot of times it's because we did not anchor and ground our work. So the fish hooks symbolizes our requesting, our petitioning that not only that we receive this money, but it is anchored to us. Okay, so it could be beneficial to us down the road as well. Next thing you want to do, you want to start filling your jar up with things that are that represents abundance to you. Um, it can be a 
lucky rabbit's foot. It can be a horseshoe, miniature horseshoe, um, whatever you consider a cowrie shell. In this case, I'm putting a gold dollar in there. If you wanted to put a $20 bill in here, if you want to put a $100 bill in there, um, if you wanted to put um, citrine chips in here, you can. So next, I'm going to cover everything up with honey. And I use the honey with the honeycomb because it's the purest, rawest form of honey. And I'm just trying to show you that this has a honeycomb in it. I also like to taste my honey before I use it, particularly if I'm using Oshun or calling upon Oshun. I always taste my honey. Okay, so just go ahead, cover everything up completely with your honey. All right, make sure it's completely covered. And guys, the reason you want to taste your honey, particularly working with Oshun, is because someone tried to poison her with poison honey. So you always want to taste it to show her that the honey is not poisoned. Okay, um, so you just see me getting that down through there pretty good, making sure there's good coverage in the jar because you want this money sweetened to you, powerfully sweetened to you, okay? So once that's all done, all right, you can tap your jar just to make sure everything is settled. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to start adding your herbs. I'm going to add cloves. Cloves, very powerful to attract money. Just regular cooking cloves. Drop a couple of them in there. Next, I have some crystallized ginger. Guys, um, ginger adds heat and spice to your work. Ginger is also great for drawing money. Um, I just had this crystallized ginger on hand. I use it um, as a digestive aid also. I chew it and eat it. Um, and it helps also that it's covered with sugar. I got it from an Asian grocery store. It was only $3 for that big pack. You don't have to have the crystallized ginger. I just have some on hand. You can use just raw ginger root that you peel and put in the jar. Or you can use, if you find ginger oil, you can use ginger oil. Or you can use ginger powder if that's the case. All right. So um, just um, ginger, again, adds a lot of spice, a lot of heat um, to your money magic. So awesome to include. Next, I'm showing you that I have bayberry powder. Bayberry powder, very good to include in your work. Um, very hard to find sometime. So bayberry oil, which I'll show you a little here shortly, um, is readily available at most botanicas. Online, you can find bayberry oil also. Um, I just had some powder um, on hand, so I'm going to include that in my work as well. So go ahead and include your bayberry powder. Okay, once you do that, um, you want to go ahead and you want to add mint. I love mint. I bought this out of the store. I used to have wild mint growing in my yard. I don't have any this year. Um, but take some mint, um, fresh mint. If you want to use dry mint, you can. But fresh mint just kicks this up to a totally, totally different level. Mint smells at just like money to me love it so go ahead and add your mint to this jar as well all right next i'm adding a whole bay leaf make sure that when your bay leaf is whole don't break it don't crush it when putting it in the jar is is mine is dry so you see that i'm trying to be very careful so i don't break it or crush it but yes um put a whole bay leaf in your jar okay all right i'm just showing you that the whole the bay leaf didn't crack or break okay so once you do that what's what you want to do you want to go ahead and you want to add some more sweeteners to your jar okay and so what i want to i'm just pressing this down because my jar is a little small but i'm confident that everything that i need will fit in here again um you can use i kind of recommend like a four ounce mason jar um so but i have the baby jars on hand so this is what i'm using right now so now i'm adding some powder cinnamon we all know cinnamon is very powerful to attract wealth to attract abundance all right also grounding to your wealth magic nutmeg same deal very powerful to attract money especially money through um jobs okay especially money like if you're looking for a new job or something very very powerful herb to include in your magic 
all right so once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and add some more sweeteners um, I have here some brown sugar and I have some um, white sugar so I'm just gonna add another layer of sweetening um, to top off my um, my jar okay um, if you have molasses you can include molasses if you have maple syrup you can include maple syrup um, if you have corn syrup um, I suppose you could possibly use corn syrup um, it is derived from a plant so um, yeah just whatever you have to sweeten your jar just add those items to it okay and guys while you're doing your work I want to remind you to continue to recite and repeat what your desires are okay so now you see me adding the bayberry oil and again um, you can find this at most botanicas Etsy any online store Amazon would have it as well so I'm or, um, adding that and now you're going to see me add some financial oils so I'm adding the crown of success okay because my daughter again she's looking for a job so I'm adding the crown of success oil any brand that you have on hand um, I will put the links of some botanicas um, and some conjurers that have online shops um, that you can get some fantastic products from okay um, Memphis conjure she, her products are unbelievable they are they, as soon as you get them you open your your package you feel the energy coming off um, barefoot witchery another one this is the Bible sweetening oil I like to include this in any type of ritual work that I'm doing as well okay um, don't forget to continue to recite your mantras um, call your your deities in call your guardian spirits in okay next what you see me adding I am actually going to add a seal and I ordered these from Amazon directly and these are seals from the sixth and seventh book of Moses um, you have to anoint these seals and empower them to um, to grant you your wish to grant you your petition all right but they there's so many seals that come in this pack I think it's at least a hundred maybe a hundred twenty um, some of them like they have one in there that purportedly can make you invisible yeah I don't know what that's about I haven't tried it here's the seal of water it's the seal of great fortune I'm going to include that in this jar before I do that I'm actually going to anoint it on all four corners and also in the center reciting what I desire it to do and that is to bring my daughter wealth and abundance and a new job okay so you see that I'm anointing it five times again five represents a grounding so again I'm folding the work towards me because I'm wanting to bring and draw this to my daughter okay so once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and place the seal on top all right and that is pretty much it you know so again recite what you want your work to do go ahead and seal it off once you do that okay and you're not opening this jar um, some people say they some people seem to think it's okay to open the jar to add other ingredients but my rule of thought my rule of thumb is to include everything in here so you don't have to open the jar again but what I will and I'm just showing you that the low stone is beginning to feed which is always a good sign okay that your magic has been activated all right so what I like to do in lieu of opening this jar and feeding it I like to burn a candle on top of it you can burn a green or a gold candle I have a gold candle today if you don't have green or gold you can certainly use white all right as a substitute it is just it's, it's just as the same as using a color candle to be very honest with you okay and I like the small chime candles because they burn with almost no residue before I burn my candle what I like to do is write my petition on my candle all right that's why I said keep your petition short and sweet because you're going to write it on your candle okay before you light your candle and I like to place three dollar signs in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit on 
um, on my candle as well. So go ahead and write out your petition. All right. Um, focus on your desire. See the outcome. See the results. See, in this case, I see my daughter getting her job. I'm, I'm seeing in my mind's eye her phone ringing, different companies calling her, um, calling her, scheduling interviews with her. I see her going on her interview. I see her being offered her job. Okay. So once you do that, what you want to do, the oils that you used, you want to go ahead and you want to place a couple of drops in the palm of your hand. Okay. You can use one of your oils, um, two of your oils, all of your oils is totally up to you. All right. And you want to go ahead again and you want to place a couple of drops in the center of your hand. All right. Because you're getting ready to anoint your candle. So before you do that, you want to, um, and you see me with the bayberry. So before you do that, what you want to do is you want to rub your hands together, reciting your mantras, your petitions until you feel your hands heat up, until you feel the oils in your hands, they're heating up, they're energizing, focusing on your desire. And once you feel the energy, you feel like your oils are energized enough, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and now you want to anoint your candle. Okay. And to anoint your candle, you're going to rub from the middle up and to the middle down. So above in heaven below on earth okay and i'm just showing you here if you have tarot cards i also read tarot cards you can include them in your work i'm using the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands ace of pentacles for abundance okay and money and then the eight of wands on top for speed the eight of wands represents speed um, in the tarot cards so i'm placing this on top I'm going to place my jar on top. I'm going to light my candle. Okay. Um, I just also wanted to show you that if you don't have tarot cards, you can use a cards from a regular plan deck. I typically use the ace or the ten of diamonds. Um, also for work, you can include the, ten, the ace of clubs. All right. So just to let you know that you can use your plan cards. Um, in your in your rituals all right so now you see me anointing my candle lighting my candle focus on your flame calling in your spirit guides um, stating what your intentions are and I always recommend that you burn a candle on your jar at least once a week on Thursday or Fridays until you manifest your desire and once you manifest your desire you can bury your jar in a potted plant that you're going to take care of or outside in your front yard or leave it at a crossroad with some rum or some yellow cornmeal okay thank you for stopping by i hope to see you soon leave a comment below if you use this spell and it works for you if you have any questions i haven't answered stay tuned for the next video thank you so much Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell for new video alerts. Wishing you love, light, and laughter.